What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? AZD here with you with another video. And in this video, we're gonna call and in this video, we're gonna talk about the CPI, the consumer price index report that just came out. Now I'm gonna go across an article that I came across with Axios.com, and this article was done by Courtney Brown. So shout out to Courtney Brown for this article. And we're talking about the consumer prices continue to rise quickly in February. Now prices continue to rise as quickly paced last month. Now prices continue to rise at a quick pace last month. The consumer price index rose 0.4% in February, slowing only slightly from prior months. In prior months, the government said on Tuesday, so why does it matter? So in the article, it says, why does it matter? Inflation has dropped from last year's peak, though there are still signs that underlying prices, pressures continue to run strong in development that reflects the challenge and task ahead of the Federal Reserve. Now, Fed officials are watching this data release closely, along with other government data, so they can understand how they're going to do the basis point at the next FOMC meeting. So they're looking at the data, they're looking for confirmation of whether or not the economic activity continued to heat up last month in a way that might force them to raise interest rates more aggressively at its upcoming policy meeting. Now, this decision might be complicated by the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank, which forced the Fed to step in which emergency measures to back stop the banking system. So in this article right now, we're going to look more at the numbers. In the 12 months through February, an overall consumer price index rose 6% compared to 6.4% in January, excluding food and energy costs, which can be volatile from month to month. The index rose 0.5 last month, quicker than 0.4 increase in January. Over the year ending in February, this core index increased 5.5 compared to 5.6 for the month of January. Now, details, food, energy, and furniture were among the categories that saw prices rise highly, that saw prices rise, while used car and trucks saw prices decline outright over the month. The shelter index, which includes rental costs, continued to rise swiftly last month at 0.8% compared to January's 0.7% rise. The categories is weighed heavily in the index for months. It has put upward pressure on the overall core index. Private sector data shows shelter costs have decreased, but that hasn't made it to the official CPI data yet. So we're gonna have some adjustments to this data. So where do it stand? The Fed is also closely watching a specific measure of the inflation, a core reading of the services sector that excludes shelter. Officials say that's where inflation might be stickiest because the sector includes the business most likely to pass along higher labor costs to consumers. And we discussed that in another video before. I hope you guys saw that video before. So let's look more closely at the consumer price index summary and the economic release. Now the consumer price index for all urban CPI rose 0.4%, like we said in February, on a seasonal adjusted basis after increasing 0.5% in January, the US Bureau of Labor and Statistics reported. Over the last 12 months, all items index increased 6.0% before seasonal adjustment. The index, speaking of seasonal adjustment, like how do they go about figuring out the season adjustment after the CPI report come out. We have to look more into that, like into the details and things. So the index for shelter has the largest contributor to the monthly all item increase, accounting for over 70% of the increase. With the index for food, recreation, and household furnishing and operation also contributing, the food index increased 0.4% over the month with the food at home index rising 0.3%. So everything is still rising, even though it's a little bit slower than the previous month, it still is rising. The energy index decreased 0.6%, which is a good thing over the month as the natural gas and fuel oil indexes both decline. That sounds real good, but then we got the spring and the summer months, we got the warmer ones coming up. People gonna be driving more, um, just a wide variety of ways to use the energy. We not didn't have too much of a bad winter, so that probably was also included with that um, data right there. 
So the index for all items less food energy rose 0.5% in February after rising 0.4% in January. Categories which increased in February includes shelter, recreation, household, furnishing and operation, and airline fares. The index for used cars and trucks and the index for medical care were among those decreased over the month. The all item index increased 6.0% for the 12 month ending in February. This was the smallest 12 month increase since the period ending in September, 2021. So this data is probably looking good, but with the things with the bank and all the other things that's going, we still don't know how the FOMC meeting might go. There are reports saying that they might just freeze the um, raising the interest rate. They might freeze the rate hike for the next meeting, but going forward, they might end up doing a 50, uh, a 50 basis point increase. So the energy index increased 5.2% for the 12 month ending in February, and the food index increased 9.4% over the last year. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the CPI report and a quick rundown of the details, the tables, percentage change in the CPI for all urban consumers. We can take a look at that as well. We have the food index, the energy index. So you can go ahead and go to bls.gov and get a, another idea of how this data is reading and look at it over the past year, over the past months, and look at the different declines and increase for like energy, food, um, the overall, all items. So once again, it's ANZD. Hope you got some value out of this and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.